Hello! So today I wanted to share with you an important healing technique. And this healing technique is so simple and so easy that it could be used on anyone for any reason at all and will still make positive healing change. So hold on, this is going to be really good. So before I start though, I really want to say something about all the amazing healing techniques that are out there. This technique is not negating any of them at all. And in fact, many of those other techniques may be far more powerful than this technique. But the cool thing about this technique is that it is universal, that it can work on anyone at any time for any reason any condition, any situation, and it will make positive healing change. So that's the really cool part about this technique. And it's super, 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 super simple. I developed this technique because I wanted people to have something easy that they could turn to immediately when they knew that they needed to help somebody or help themselves. This technique is purposefully simple and purposefully universal so that anybody can use it at any time to help anyone. In fact, it is so useful that you can even use it on things that haven't even manifested yet. So energetic things that may begin to start to manifest, but haven't even manifested yet. So you can make positive healing change on those things as well. The reason this is, is because you're not using your directed energy. You don't need to know what's specifically wrong with someone. So you don't need to focus that energy to work on them. You're also not directing this energy yourself. You're not doing it through your own will or your own intention for what you might be trying to work on with someone or anything like that. Like I said, you don't even have to know what's wrong with anybody to work on them. That is the cool thing about this technique. In this technique, what you are really doing is giving your focused attention on those areas. And let me explain to you why this matters and how powerful this really is. Because you see, this focused attention actually helps to direct that universal energy to go heal and work on those areas. So really, all you have to do is put your focused attention, your focused consciousness on those specific areas. I do have another great video on healing that I will put up here and you're going to want to go check that out because there are going to be some things in that video that I'm not going to discuss in this video. And so by watching both videos, you will have a fuller understanding of what it is that I am talking about. So I want you to first imagine ourselves, our body and our energy as like this invisible mesh framework of ourselves, so to speak. And this mesh framework holds our energy selves as a being, essentially. When we are in a state of health, we are energetically open. We allow that universal life energy to flow through us and in and out through us all the time. So we want to be open and receptive and allow this universal life force energy to flow through us because what it's doing is nourishing and feeding and sustaining us and our bodies. So we want to be open to this energy and we want this energy to constantly flow through us. Now the problem problem is, is that we tend to constrict this energy through our fears or anxieties, traumas and different things like that. And so we begin to constrict that energy and we block that energy from flowing. Now, if you leave that long enough, what happens is you begin to create disease, which then eventually manifests as disease. So imagine that constriction of energy like a tourniquet blocking off that universal life flow, right? So those parts of your body are then almost starving for that life force energy. And that's what begins to create that dis-ease or disharmony, which then again will eventually manifest into some physical form or manifestation. 
which we don't want. So in this method, you will be using your directed consciousness, your directed conscious awareness. And like I said, the cool thing about that is that by you directing your conscious awareness in those areas with no intention, no, you know, you're not trying to create an outcome. You're just putting your focused awareness and your observation in those areas. What happens is that that universal life force also begins to flow to those areas. So by doing nothing other than putting your directed attention there, you're already beginning to create healing. Isn't that amazing? With this technique, you can either just do it all internally within your mind's eye and using your inner proprioception, or you can also use your hands to help you feel and move that energy, which I like to do because it makes me feel like I'm really creating more of that energy. And it also helps me to focus better on where I should be focusing and how I should be focusing. So try either, but they're both equally effective. So for this example, I'm going to use my hands because, well, I like to do it that way and it's fun because you can really feel what you're doing. So you're going to think of your hands almost like the either end of a circuit. You know, okay, I don't know that much about electronics, so maybe I'm using the wrong terminology, but I hope you get the right idea. So everything that you're going to be doing is between your two hands and that's where your focused awareness and your attention is going to be put. So wherever you put your hands, the inner part of where your hands are is where you're going to focus your attention. So let's say for an example, I put my uh, one hand on my forehead, on um, if you want to call it your chakra or whatever you want to do, that's fine too. You know, the third eye area between the third eye and the crown. Um, and then I'm putting the other, you can't see it, but I'm putting the other one down on my belly. Okay. So that could also be the fourth chakra, your power center. And then I'm just putting my awareness between my two hands and I'm paying attention to what that feels like inside of me as well as between my hands and I'm just paying attention. That's all I'm doing. I'm just observing what it feels like and just taking that time to really pay attention. Now, as you do this, you will actually begin to feel heat and warmth. And that is that energy that is beginning to move there. And again, you're not directing your conscious energy. You're just allowing the universal life force energy to flow through you and into those directed areas by your own conscious observation of those areas. Does that make sense? With this technique, it doesn't really matter where you're putting your hands or what you're doing because you're not directing the energy. You're not deciding how this person needs to heal or what's wrong with them or anything like that. You're not directing the energy. So you're not going to impact in a negative way that person's health outcome, okay? All you're doing is allowing the universal life force energy to flow to those areas and nourish and give those areas energy, okay? With this technique, I advise you to use your intuition and to kind of feel where you'd like to put your hands and your intuition can kind of check in with you and tell you, hey, maybe this would feel good or whatever and go ahead and use those ideas and follow them because that is your higher guidance actually helping to guide you to tell you what to do. So yeah, use that. The point of the exercise is essentially just to bring more universal life force energy 
into all the areas of your body or the person that you're working on to help to heal that. Just again, by your own observation, you begin to create that healing energy. So that's all you're doing is just creating that healing energy through your own observation. If you choose not to use your hands and you just want to do it all internally, that's okay too. So you just want to shut your eyes and go within and you want to pay attention to your proprioception. That is your inner body awareness. That's that's just how you feel you, <laughs> if that makes sense. So you go into that inner body awareness and you just pay attention. You just observe each area, put your attention to each area, and you'll begin to feel each area begin to warm up. Again, it is that energy that's moving to that area that's creating that warmth and that movement, okay? There are a lot of ways that you can play with this and modify it to make it even more effective if you want. But like I said, the basis is simple. You just want to pay attention to those areas. And by paying attention, you're helping to direct that life force energy, which is now nourishing and sustaining and bringing life to those areas of the body that need it. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you do have questions, please put them down below. I am happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you'd like to work together on this, I would love to work with you. I do have some contact information below that you can reach out. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, I would love it if you would like and subscribe because that lets me know that you like my content and that also helps to support my channel and helps my channel to grow. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so very much.